good Saturday morning. Instead of fabulous after 50 Friday tips, we're going fabulous after 50 Saturday tips. How does that sound? Anyway, good morning, good morning. I am Cindy Templeton and I am here to share with you some tips to keep you looking gorgeous after 50. And my mission is for me you to take time before time takes you. And my goal is to help you to do it simply and affordably. So if you're here with me now, which you're probably all not, because if I were you and it's Labor Day weekend, I'd be relaxing somewhere and not worrying about social media or anything else. But if you are with me, give me a thumbs up, a heart, say hello. Or, you know, later on next week when you watch this, throw a replay in there. Anyway, just a, a couple things about foundation. You know, a lot of times it's like, oh, one more thing to do. But I'm going to share with you, I never realized how for, found, important foundation was till I was in my late 30s. And I so wish I would have known before. To me, it was like, oh, people put that crap on their face so they look like they have a tan or because they just want to cover up stuff or you know, whatever. You know, I'm like, if, if anything, it breaks me out and it... It's, you know, it's covering my skin. It can't breathe. Da, 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 da. Okay. I don't know if anybody else had those maybe old wives tales, mindsets, things like that, that were brought into your life, myths and so forth. However, when I became a part of Mary Kay and learned more about skincare because of Mary Kay, when I went to my first Mary Kay party and all that, I was shocked because I never realized that what foundation was is skin protection. Yeah. In other words, when you have two barns out there, how do you protect them? One you paint every year, one you don't. Which one do you want to look like after five years, ten years? The one that was protected, correct? Exactly. So that's when I began using foundation. But my hardest thing was, except for, you know, before that, I tried it once in a while, but every time I was trying to find something that matched, that looked right. And every time I did, it's like, yeah, no. My face looked like a pumpkin on a shelf, or I was like, Dark here, light here, light here, dark here, right? Looked like my face went to Florida and the rest of the body forgot to buy a ticket, all those kind of things. So first off about foundation, okay, is the most important thing is what do you want? Do you want sheer? Do you want, um, let me see, do you want sheer? Do you want um, a light coverage? Or do you want more of a full coverage? And a lot of that depends on your skin, underlying skin itself. You know, as we get more interesting of age, life happens to our skin. Uh, a lot of times we have more deepening, they call them age spots, things like that. Maybe if you were like me, like a kid, we did not use sunscreen all the time, or any of that kind of stuff. So I do have that. Now right now I have a very, very sheer coverage of CC cream on because I did an earlier uh, event called Brunch Babes this morning. And so I do have a very light coverage of medium, which is what I love. But um, for this is what I call this my concealer, okay, over top of my 3D. So Mary Kay, we have many different types of foundations. Today I want to really hone in on two and two tools. First off is the Mary Kay CC Cream. Complexion correction. It only comes in five shade, shades, hence you can usually wear it all year round, very close to almost all year round if not. Uh, what it does is it blends with your skin tone. It is not a full coverage. It's more or less a light sheer coverage, but you can put a little bit more on so it is buildable. Okay, it also has SPF 15 and a little bit of moisturizer in it. With using that, uh, again, I also build on top of that with our 3D foundation. Now this is an anti-aging foundation. Comes in many colors because we have to um, you know, stripe you to make sure we get the right color for you. And yes, I do have to change it, okay, as my skin changes from summer to winter. However, it's lightweight, which I was shocked with, but gives me more of a full coverage. It gives me a more flawless finish, especially when I mix the two together. So one of the things that I have found too that makes a difference is the tools that you use. When using a blending sponge damp, this gives you more of a sheer finish. When using the liquid foundation brush, this gives you more of a light coverage, okay? And when using the blending brush, that gives you more of a full coverage. So those are the difference between your tools that you're using. Hey, Taylor, good morning, hon. 
So that's the difference between these three tools and foundation. So a couple things is you have to think about what, what am I looking for? Am I looking for a sheer coverage? Am I looking for a light coverage? Or am I looking for a full coverage? And when we think about that, then we have to think about two more th things. What type of foundation? More of a sheer, okay, foundation, which is your CC cream. Or more of a fuller coverage, which would be 3D. We also have a cream to powder foundation, um, also too. Uh, so there are other ones that you can pick from, but these are the two that I think are most widely used by most women. And we also have a mineral powder foundation, which is amazing. And that foundation, especially for oily women, and that comes with its own special brush to use it. Okay. Now a mineral powder foundation can be used over top of a CC cream or over top of an, of, I usually don't recommend it as much with 3D, but over top of a CC if you'd like to do that for more fuller coverage, but you like the idea of this with your SPF and you like the finish of a powder foundation, okay? So there you go, a little bit of tips this morning on foundations and on foundation tools. So what I'm gonna do is I already have my CC cream all over. Okay, believe it or not, this morning I used my fingers with that. Normally I use the liquid foundation brush and now I'm gonna finish up with my 3D. As I said, I, since I am over 50, <laughs> darn, no, actually, believe it or not, I am having so much fun in my 60s, it's not even funny. In fact, it's better than my 50s. This CC cream I put on first. I use this as a concealer, pretty much. And then what I'm doing is I actually am applying the 3D to the blending brush and I, now you're gonna go, whoa, Sin, that color is amazing. That's why I told you. This, when we customize this for you, we will send you a bunch of different samples or we will do it in person because it oxid with you will not know the color until a minute or two because it has to oxidize to your skin tone. And that's what's amazing about this. But what we do, and if you notice, I use this in my eye area. I do not use CC cream in my eye area. A lot of people do, I do not. I have sensitivity to it. So I cannot use CC cream around my eyes or my lips. Just those two areas. But I do and love my CC cream, so I use it everywhere else. Now again, I'm using this tool because I want more coverage. And again, this foundation 3D, just like CC, is buildable. If you feel you want a little bit more, you can just. Now, did you notice the, how crazy it looked at first? And now look, see how it's blending into my skin tone. Now, before I showed you guys the importance of cleaning your brushes, this blending brush, very important to keep clean so that it performs the way you want it to perform. So what I do with this is I actually use our brush cleaner daily on it, spritz it, take tissue, wipe it all down. And then once a week, I take Dawn dish detergent, pour it on, and then go through the bristles like this as I rinse it through water a couple times. Because you don't want that foundation look to go any farther than down through here. When it starts to get down in here, your brush is gonna get nappy and you're not gonna get blending, okay? So there you go. Some tips this morning for Fabulous After 50 on foundation and foundation tools. Hey, you guys, hope you guys have an awesome Labor Day weekend. I am on vacation, <laughs> yeah, from tomorrow through for the week, but stand by, because there's gonna be something popping in here and in your email inbox that you're gonna love while I'm away, okay? All right, God bless, bye-bye, and remember this. You are simply beautiful. Bye-bye.